hey Lego Kid five six seven eight. Um, this is my entry to your competition, and um, yeah, so I'm gonna just show you my custom clones. So I got five custom clones to enter, and um, here they are. So I got first up Commander Reptile, and um, he's not a real clone in the Clone Wars, but he's just my own made up character. And in my army, he's the leader of my whole army. So um, he um controls the whole army and like all the he, he's actually um. Uh, really close to the Jedi's as well, so he um, can do like he's actually a general also as well. Yeah, and also, also he he was made back in two thousand nine, uh, so that's when I started making custom clones. So he was one of the first customs I ever made. Well, well actually, he was the first custom I ever made. Uh, this guy here was the second one I ever made, but I'll get around to him in a second. But um, yeah, because, um, but back in two thousand nine though, I didn't have a very thin paintbrush, so I actually painted these guys at the back of the paintbrush because back then. Um, this one's not that thin, but I got one to finish in this, but I painted them in the back of the paintbrush because I didn't have a very thin paintbrush back then. So that's how they were painted. But um, yeah, the decals are designed by me, uh, and they're stuck on by me. Just made by paper, and they are fully posable. And I will show you that. Yep, see, they are fully posable. So you can sit down without these decals coming off. Uh, yeah, they're just, uh, and they're just drawn by like pencil and, pencil and pen and some paint, and they're just, they're stuck on by varnish. And yeah, and, and he was like, um, and he's also um, had four, four modifications because um, he was made back in 2009, but back then I couldn't do decals, but so he's had four modifications since then, and they were actually, they were actually the uh, first uh, decals I ever made, uh, so that, they actually worked uh, pretty well. And his guns are from the Indiana Jones kits, they're just made by Lego. Uh, his visor is, again, is from the Lego Space kits, just made by, just made by Lego. And yeah, how I actually um, painted his helmet, um, quite quite neatly like that, is uh, I used sellotape. I bit sellotape across the um, helmet here on this side. So that's what, and I painted in between the sellotape, and that gave it a nice thin um, line. Also kept it neat, as you can see, like quite neat, even close up with the camera. It's like not even on the top of the helmet. And so yeah, that's uh, Commander Reptile. I'll give you a little 360 spin. Yeah, he's got no back detail, but sometimes if you give them too much detail, it can you know. Like spoil the look of them, but I might give him back detail one day. But he hasn't got back detail for the moment. Oh yes, and um, by the way, I said I also um, did, um, gave you a shout out in um, my last video, and uh, yeah, and telling people about um, your competition. So yeah, just um, just by the way, and um, also uh, this is one of Commander Reptile's uh, troopers. So uh, that guy I just showed you, this guy here, this is one of his troopers. I actually do have two of these guys. I have this uh, two of these guys right here. This, they're both identical, but I'm not I'm not entering this guy. Just entering uh, just one of these guys. So here he is. Uh, guns from Firestar Toys. I hope that's accepted because um just gave them those guns to look cool. I hope those guns are, are, are accepted. Um, but don't worry, don't worry. I mean, um, this gun, this guy was completely made by me. No, no custom from anybody else here. Um, the um, little um, shoulder pad thing here is made just. From, this came from the Stormtroopers. So I just gave it to these guys because clones sometimes have those guys. Uh, I mean those things, and it also makes them look a little bit more detailed. Uh, his legs are from um, the Lego Agents, so this Lego Agents legs, because back then in 2009 I couldn't do decals, so yeah, I just gave him uh, Le Lego Agents legs to make him look a little bit more cooler. And now, on to Commander Shark. Again, he's not the, a real clone of the Clone Wars, he's just my own made up character. So here he is. And his helmet's kind of painted like Commander Wolf's. Let me just the camera to focus for a second. Yeah, his helmet's kind of painted like Commander Wolf's, so as you can see the lines and stuff like that are kind of like Commander Wolf's. He just doesn't have the little ears. But he's called Commander Shark, because he kind of looks like a shark, kind of, with his visor down. I mean, he's, he, just, he just kind of reminds me of one, that's all. So that's why I called him Commander Shark. And that's why I called this guy Commander Reptile, because he reminds me of a reptile. Okay, and he's got um, Lego Agent's legs again, because back then I couldn't do decals, because he was, he, he was the second clone I made back in 2009. I made him straight after making this guy. And again, I painted him with the back of the um, back of the paintbrush. And so, and again, he's got guns from Firestar Toys. I hope they're accepted. Um, so, yep. Yeah, just a little bit of back detail. Yep. Uh, so that's him. And then also, I have Commander Shark's bodyguards. So again, this guy. Well, these are his troopers. And um, the guns are just made out of Lego pieces. They're just um, just random Lego pieces stuck together. Just a Lego uh, small old blaster gun with a rod for it, with um, droid arms and an Empress Guard spear. And the, the reason why he's got a spear on there is because he's also like a bodyguard, so when he stands, uh, just like protecting his uh, commander, so he, he stands with a, 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 um, a spear so he can kill people like that, you know, just stab them. So then when he goes into battle, he can just turn it around, and he's got a gun. 
Also, um, this thing here was um, made out of a black Lego cape. I just cut the black Lego cape up and just um, made this. I also do have two of these guys as well. Yeah, they're both identical. Both have two of those guys, but I'm not entering this guy. Just showing you just I got two. So, yes, ag again, the legs are from um, the Lego Agents kits, but because um, I don't have it, I couldn't do decals back then again. There he is. And the last, the last clone I need to show you is this guy, and he's a rocket launcher guy. Yep, he's my custom rocket launcher guy. And yeah, he was the fourth clone I ever made, again painted with the back of the paintbrush. Uh, I also worked quite hard on him, cause, um, because I wanted to make a really cool clone. He's one of the best clones I've ever made. And um, as you can see, his um, pauldron and waste caper, I'd say they're painted quite nicely. Cause I worked like, like two hours on him, or four, something like that anyway. I was just like waiting for the paint to dry and painting each side, you know, one by one. So yeah, I worked pretty hard on him. He has, just a, he has a stripe there. And some stripes there. And the um, inspiration for him um, came from the Force Unleashed clones. Because um, in the Force Unleashed, Darth Vader has like a, I mean, I mean Stormtroopers. Darth Vader has a load of weird Stormtroopers and he kind of looks like one of those Stormtroopers what have um, the lightsabers. So that's what that's where his kind of look came from. With the um, like little visors and stuff. Yeah, but, but here he is. And um, yeah. That's the last one I need to show you. So um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, also, thank you for inviting me to join the competition. And yeah, this has been Star Killer Rock, and goodbye.